all you have to do is look around and realize that the Democratic Party apparently must have some form of penchant, a predisposition, some love of crazy people, demented people, lunatic people, people who are cognitively disconnected. Look recently at this show of, I guess, trans, what, street buskers? I don't know who these people are. Street actors? It's almost like, it's it's almost a, a group of lunatics who happen to be trans or whatever. There was some, a bearded man in a dress. Now, I know what I'm saying is, is archaic. I know I should be far more hip. But if I were to take you right now to Times Square, which is just a couple of blocks from where I am right now, and I ask most people, what do you think about a grown man in a dress with a beard? They would say, this person is mentally ill. And the trans part has nothing to do with it, but a trans person can be mentally ill. A gay person can be mentally ill. Most mentally ill people are straight. What does that mean? Democrats love this. Do you remember a while back Hillary Clinton was walking around exhibiting some form of neurological problem. Uh, friends of mine, uh, some who were, one is a, a neurologist in particular, said that she has all of the indications of somebody who suffered from severe and deleterious, uh, perhaps even permanent brain damage. And then we read, I think it was in Bill's book or her book, how she fell at the State Department, hit her head. Then when she was during the Benghazi hearings, she wore the Fresnel lenses. These were those horn rim glasses that are that are prismatic to deal with and account for, of all things, uh, diplopia, you know, double vision. This is what people who are suffering from brain damage have. This is, this is a very, very serious, serious issue. Then, after, on 9-11, in one particular year, remember she fell like a sack of potatoes, just fell, hobbled and fell, lost her shoe. They threw her in the back of an ambulance, took her over to Chelsea's apartment because they didn't want her going into a hospital. Rumor has it they had her Chelsea's apartment all wired up for like a makeshift hospital because she was doing this head jerking. And uh, when she even, go back and look, when she accepted the nomination, her, her, her mouth was agape, kind of that Angelo Bruno frozen rictus, this maw, this gaping maw. What was that? And I kept saying, there's something wrong with her. And people said, oh, stop it. I said, what is with you Democrats? Do you not, do you, you have all of this sensitivity about trans pronouns and theys and jurors and, and I mean, they, they, they focus in on the most ridiculous nonsense. But when it comes to recognizing somebody who is apparently neurologically compromised, they have no interest whatsoever. Can you explain that to me? Does that make any sense to you? Now, I could sit here and, and, and um, come up with some really great theory uh, using some Orwellian theory, some dystopian idea that maybe perhaps they're trying to reprogram or refinesse, reconnect with a different... App. Or I could just point to the obvious. They're crazy. These people are crazy, and they love crazy people. They love crazy people to see you freak out. They love to see a man in a beard and a dress at the White House. Because whatever you say, I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with the trans. That's crazy. Doing this exaggerated, almost uh, uh, stereotypical, um, I don't know what. And, and this is considered groovy. This is no problem. They're so demented, they take Joe Biden to a June or whatever the hell this was, party, where they were all grooving, getting in with the groove, and this man has no rhythm whatsoever. He can't even count. Forget count and rhythm. He can't count. He's suffering from something. I don't even know what it is. Belabored by something. And they think nothing of that. They think nothing of it. And they'll sit to you, and, and there's Karine Jean-Pierre, whose wig must be, by the way, you take her wig, and you take Maxine Waters' wig, and you put all these wigs together. And I think we should check the elastic, because I really don't think, I think sometimes the, the brain, the blood flow to the noggin is cut off. Because Corinne Jean-Pierre said, oh, this is all the product of, you know, right-wing cheap fakes. I think she got it wrong. I thought she, maybe she mispronounced deep fakes, cheap fakes, whatever it is. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These are the same folks who said that it was the Russians who somehow, listen to this, somehow threw or compromised or, or did something to affect 
the 2016 election without ever telling you what it is. Now, these are the same people who said, wait, we, 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 we said, well, how did the Russians do it? Well, they just did. No, no, seriously. What did they do? They did it. They did what? They're gaslighting you. By the way, then when we went and said, hey, look, what about all these, what about all these, um, these last minute ballots and these other people are throwing ballots away and bringing in ballots at three in the morning? They couldn't see that. They said, no, no, here, here, look at the, look at the video. Here's the, no, watch, see here. They have no idea what you're talking about. No, no, see the, the video. No idea. None. So they're they're gaslighting you. They're doing something. They're, I don't know. I, 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 I think we're using the word gaslighting. But it really makes a lot of sense. They seem to enjoy insanity. Remember that feller, that bald-headed dude, with again in the dress, who was stealing women's luggage, caught on the... They act like it was nothing. Well, whatever. Oh, it's because he's gay. That has nothing to do with it. It's un- Unreal. How about that, that, that thing at the LGBT? I, I don't even know what these events are at the White House. That one lady, I guess, or they, whipped up her top and flashing her, her mams at the world, and oh well, sorry about that. Meanwhile, Joe's walking around ah, yelling, who ordered the veal cutlet? Because these people thrive in mental illness and neurological discombobulation. They like it. They feel at home. It's, it's, it's this thing that they enjoy and they are without the capacity of recognizing any of it. Any of it. It's insane. But let me tell you something. Look at me and listen to me. They're crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me just say this very, very clearly. Let me make sure I, I'm, I'm, I'm clear and limpid and lucid. They are nuts. Signal 20 off the charts, waxed, gooned, deep fried, crispy, or as we say in West Tampa, arrebatado. They're gone. All of these people, every single one of them. So it's not you, it's them. And they're going to find out in November. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell to be notified of live streams and new videos. Of course, like this video, and more importantly, comment as you see fit.